the hot dog germs, I suppose. Aftershaves are very fun. They should be, because I've bought... <laughs> bought 18 aftershaves in 2021. My task is to whittle it down to just five. So I categorize them same way I did with the... Well, not the same way. The same idea that I did with like the top five safety razors of 2021. But these categories are kind of like specific to the aftershaves and the bombs that we'll see here today. The first category is pharmacy and grocery store, meaning you can like buy them at the pharmacy or the grocery store. CVS's, Paul Green's, Piggly Wiggly's, you know, grocery stores and pharmacies. Number two is going to be the classic scents. So things that have been around stinking people's face up since before I was born which was feels like a thousand years ago. The number three category is gonna be premium aftershaves and bombs, and that's gonna be like $20 and up in price. Then number four is gonna be your best bang for your buck. So things under $20 that are doing such a good job on your face. Such a good job on your face. And then number five is gonna be unscented. Some people just like unscented. So, for grocery store brands and pharmacy brands, I'll go over the options that we have, that I have. You may not have the same options. Why would I say we? Because I'm a goofball. Brut or Brut? This says yellow number five. I just saw that yellow number five. I remember hearing an old tale in school about yellow five. I don't know if you've heard it too. You can Google it, I'm assuming. The classic, Aqua Velva. Fun fact about Aqua Velva, when it first came out, it wasn't blue, it was actually brown. And you could actually drink it and get drunk. So World War II, they changed it to blue and put something that kind of makes it not taste pleasant at all uh, in there so that, uh, so that soldiers weren't drinking their aftershave. Fun fact, Old Spice, classic Old Spice, the classic Old Spice, uh, the Clubman Panade. Clubman, Pinod, 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 Pinod. That's how I'm going with it. Stetson, howdy partner. The American Crew Revitalizing Toner. It's more of like an astringent, but it still works as like an aftershave. Helps keep your face, un I don't know. It does something to your face after you shave to kind of sanitize, kill the germs that you're exposing. The hot dog germs, I suppose. But we gotta pick one. We gotta pick one. Well, I gotta pick one. You can pick one at home. Let me know what you think. It's your favorite pharmacy and grocery. But mine happens to be Stetson. And it's not just because it's the classiest in glass bottle. There's a powdery essence to it. It actually does make my face feel a bit velvety smooth when I use it. And I self-identify as a cowboy, even though I haven't rode a horse in over 20 years. 20, over 25 years. Holy crap. I'm getting old. But Stetson, that's my jam if I'm going to the grocery store or the pharmacy. <laughs> Number two is going to be the classic sense, and that's we're going to keep in the Stetson, the Clubman Panade. Old Spice. Aqua Velva. Not sure when Brute came out or Brett, but uh... We'll go ahead and keep that in there. Why not? It didn't win, by the way. But we are gonna add Sacra Blue from your boys at Phoenix Shaving, which is a homage to the Aqua Velva, which is kind of fun because this is green and this is blue. Glass bottle, plastic bottle, or shatterproof, I think is how Williams likes to refer to their plastic bottles. Okay, another classic. It's going to be the cease and desist from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements as well. The American blend from Fine. One more. Italian citrus from Fine as well. Because that's more of like a classic Italian baba shop smell. It's got citruses and stuff. But my pick for those out of those is going to be the Sacre Bleu. Because I like the Aqua Velva. I like the smell. I did a unofficial poll on a Facebook group that I'm a part of saying, hey, Aqua Velva, do you get like an initial scent of pee when you put it on your face? And it might just be me because nobody else is picking that up. I don't think I have like a super sensitive nose. 
But if you think Aqua Velva or Sacra Blue has a initial aura of P, let me know. So Sacra Blue wins, even with the P, just the initial to me. I probably need to talk to somebody about that, huh? Yeah. So the next is gonna be the premiums. So we're gonna keep in the Phoenix artisan accoutrements that we've covered so far. We're also gonna add Grove to it, which is kind of like a cranberry type of masculine musky aftershave cologne splash. And we're gonna add George. Okay, this is from Gentleman's Nod. It is the first bomb being introduced into this conversation. Uh, it has like, it's like a sweet cherry wood. It's basically like George Washington put into a bomb, like his essence that we know him of because cherry tree, it's got some tobacco and uh, it says incense, which I think is more into the florals. Maybe not a scientist. So those are gonna be our premiums. And for me, premium, you know, 20 and over, it's gonna go to the gentleman's nod. George, I've only had it for a very short time, but I'm impressed with how it feels on my skin. I am impressed with the smell, the scent. It doesn't, it stays along long enough and it feels like the forward scents of it kind of stand out throughout the day in different chopped up features if that makes any sense at all the next one is our best bang for our buck so things that are under twenty dollars i am gonna leave out the grocery and pharmacy stuff because none of none of them none of them none of them won but we are going to talk about the fine italian citrus the fine american blend the fine platinum uh this fine snake bite as you can see, I have a lot of different fine aftershaves. The Zingari Man, the Explorer, which is a very nice, uh, light, airy, citrusy kind of smell that I like a lot. I have the Agar from Sterling, which is a bomb and it's very nice too. Very oody, oody and woody. And then the Unscented Sterling, which is very nice too. And for me, for best bang for your buck and performance on my face, goes to uh, the Sterling soap uh, bombs. They just seem to, especially in the winter with it being dry and stuff, seems to be really complimenting my body, my face, and the whole post-shave feel. So Sterling wins that one. Even their tallow-based soaps are kind of coming out ahead this winter. Uh, and then number five is gonna be my favorite, unscented. So we don't have many to choose from. We have the Sterling, okay. Snake bite. And to me, I love snake bite. Like 90% of the year, or 66% of the year, I guess. Yeah, 60, when it's not winter. This is awesome. It's unscented, it's heavily mentholated, um, has a bit of alcohol in it. It's like icy hot in a liquid form because you get the sting and then it cools it down. Cool, dude. So that's why I'm picking Snake bite. I think this is the one I've used the most of throughout this year. Pretty cool. If you have other aftershaves or bombs that I didn't mention uh, that you like, let me know what those are because I would like to know about those. And if you feel like subscribing to this channel, I usually talk about wet shaving, wet shaving products, tips for shaving, communicating via comment down below, feel free to reach out and subscribe. I will have links for most of these items, especially the winners in the description below. Some of them will be affiliate links. They will not cost you any extra money, but they will help fund the channel. Appreciate you watching and connecting with me this year. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, goodbye. I don't know, goodbye. Ciao. Sacre bleu. Boom, boom.